Hello friends, welcome to Susan and John MapTube. This is lesson number 5 in beta gamma functions. And as always, how to use the video lessons effectively. And I hope you are doing all these things. Are you ready with pen and paper? And this is the most important one. Make sure you work out all the problems along with us. And of course, once the video ends, take any math book you like with the same topic and try to work out a lot of problems. And the most important thing to boost your confidence. Take uh, the past year's question paper and try to work out similar questions. If you are able to do it yourself, be very happy you have used the video lessons effectively. And with that, let's start lesson number five. Okay, so we have a very, very special question. Um, the question is really special because we are going to make a weird substitution. Or it might look weird. There are many ways to do this question, but I like this weird substitution. Okay, so we have integral 0 to pi by 4, 1 minus 2 sin square theta, the whole power 3 by 2 into cos theta d theta. So basically we have a huge problem. The limit is not good. In the sense, I was expecting 0 to pi by 2. And another problem is like we have 1 minus 2 sin square theta. Maybe some of you will remember trigonometric formulae and you might convert this problem into an entirely different problem and proceed. Anyway, I am going to deal this problem at this point. So look at this. I know 1 minus sin square something will be cos square, the same thing. But the problem is we have this 2. Okay. So, what I did is, I just took 2 sin square theta. And I am going to substitute this as sin square t. I told you, I am going to do something weird. And taking square root on both sides, I get root 2 sin theta is equal to sin t. Now, two things. What is point number 1? Yeah, the differential. So, we get root 2 cos theta d theta is equal to cos t dt and I want that cos theta d theta here. So, cos theta d theta is equal to 1 by root 2 cos t dt and put a tick so that we don't forget. Now, the second thing I had to write t in terms of theta. So, t is nothing but sine inverse, isn't it? I just took the inverse on both sides. So, I get sin inverse root 2 sin theta. So, look at this. This limit belongs to theta and I know that because the variable of integration is theta. If theta is equal to the lower limit, t will be sin inverse root 2 sin 0 and sin inverse 0 is 0. If theta is equal to pi by 4, t will be sin inverse root 2 into sin pi by 4. Sin 45 is 1 by root 2. And we get sin inverse 1 as expected and that is pi by 2. Finally, our problem is solved. So, shall we substitute? We get 0 to pi by 2. I saw that because look at the limits we get t is equal to 0 to pi by 2. And another problem, this 2 sin square theta becomes sin square t. So, I write 1 minus sin square t the whole power 3 by 2. And finally, this cos theta d theta becomes 1 by root 2 cos t dt. Isn't it? If you want to be more specific, you can write t equal to. 
Now, my friends, tell me what is 1 minus sin square t, cos square t. And you already know this a power m, the whole power n is a power m times n. So, we end up with integral t equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos square and that will become cos cube t and this 1 by root 2 goes outside and again 1 cos I think I'll erase it I'm not going to waste your steps dt okay I really 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 want to apply our shortcut using reduction formula but I'm not able to apply because this question is from our beta gamma functions okay so what we do is we write 1 by root 2 1 by 2 beta 4 plus 1 5 by 2 and 1 by 2 that will be 1 by root 2 1 by 2 gamma 5 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 by 5 plus 1 6 6 by 2 3 gamma 3 is 2 factorial and you simplify this you will get 3 pi by 16 root 2 okay so this problem is very important uh, the trick is calling this as sine square t. Now let's move on. Okay, please note another question. Evaluate the integral 0 to pi by 6. We did one similar question in the last video. Sine to the power 3 theta d theta. But that problem was really easy because um, we had sine 2 theta and sine 2 theta has such a cute formula it becomes a product kind of like a into b into c so giving power is easy and you already know this is going to become cos 2 theta or 2t and that doesn't have a good formula and that's going to give us a little bit trouble anyway uh, like i told you before the limits are from 0 to pi by 6 and I know that 3 times pi by 6 will make it pi by 2. So let's start. Put 3 theta is equal to t. And the two things to do, 3 d theta is equal to dt. So d theta is equal to 1 by 3 dt. Let's put some indication here. Now the limits. If theta is equal to 0 t will be 0 if theta is equal to pi by 6 t will be pi by 2 so let's substitute everything t is equal to 0 to pi by 2 cos square look at this this is double of this 2 theta right so that is 2 t and that is sine to the power 4 t and d theta is 1 by 3 that goes outside and dt okay now what we do is we write this as 1 by 3 integral t equal to 0 to pi by 2 okay look at this uh, we have three different formula for cos 2 theta the basic formula is cos square theta minus sine square theta and another is 1 minus 2 sine square theta and another is 2 cos square theta minus 1 you can use any formula you like anyway uh, I feel like doing it with the second one because I want everything in terms of sine. And one more thing, cos square 2 theta means cos 2 theta, the whole square. So we get 1 minus 2 sine square t, the whole square, into sine to the power 4 t dt. And that will be equal to 1 by 3, integral t is equal to 0 to pi by 2. What is a minus b the whole square? a square minus 2 into 4 sine square t plus 4 sine to the power 4 t and outside we have sine to the power 4 t dt, isn't it? Okay. Now let's apply distributive property and take it inside. So we get 1 by 3 integral t equal to 0 to pi by 2 sine to the power 4 t uh, minus 4 into sine to the power 6 t plus 4 into sine to the power 8 t dt and once more I am telling you if the word use beta gamma functions 
or using beta gamma integrals is not mentioned in the question then in the next step itself you will get the answer by applying reduction formula anyway i'm not going to do that because right now the videos are related to beta gamma so i'm going to stick to the professional method so this will be 1 by 3 and i'm going to change everything into beta so here we go 1 by 2 beta 4 plus 1 5 by 2 1 by 2 minus 4 into 1 by 2 beta 6 plus 1 7 by 2 1 by 2 plus 4 into beta 8 plus 1 9 by 2 1 by 2 yeah that's it and simplify 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 and check whether you get the answer 7 pi the whole divided by 192 you can comment below don't leave as such your students you have to practice um, you have to learn to simplify you have to learn to take lcm anyway just tell me whether you got the answer 7 pi by 192 or not okay now let's go for one more problem that's also very important so please write evaluate the integral 0 to pi by 4 okay so what do you expect as the angle the limit is 0 to 45 we want 0 to 90 so i'm expecting the angle to be 2 theta or 2t something like that uh oh but look at this the question is sine to the power 4x cos square x dx in all the problems from lesson number four the trick was you substitute the angle and the limit becomes automatically becomes 0 to 90. okay no need to worry you have to be very good with two trigonometric formulae so if they ask this in your exam you just make a small box and write on one side sine square x is 1 by 2 into 1 minus cos 2x i'm sure you know this formula and cos square x is equal to 1 by 2 into 1 plus cos 2x and if you ask me why am i doing this tell me what is the reason i have to and i am doing this look at the angle the angle is 2x and the limit is 45 45 into 2 is 90 okay so that's it so i'm going to substitute i'm going to write this question you can do it in your own style but i'm going to make it a little bit lengthy and do it comfortably so i'm going to substitute 0 to pi by 4 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2x 1 by 2 1 minus cos 2x 1 by 2 1 plus cos 2x dx and we get i is equal to 1 by 2 into 2 into 2 is 8 integral 0 to pi by 4 1 minus cos 2x 1 minus cos 2x 1 plus cos 2x dx now as expected we put 2x is equal to t so 2 dx equal to dt so that dx is equal to 1 by 2 dt i'll underline this now the limits if x is equal to 0 t will be 0 x equal to pi by 4 t will be pi by 2 it's not a big deal because you already know the whole story is based on that okay so let's substitute i'll do that in the next page so we get 1 by 8 integral t is equal to 0 to pi by 2 1 minus cos t 1 minus cos t 1 plus cos t and what happened to dx 1 by 2 dt i'm going to keep that 1 by 2 outside so i get 1 by 16 and here i put dt i hope you're okay with that now tell me 
what is this a minus b times a plus b a square minus b square so what is 1 minus cos t into 1 plus cos t 1 minus cos square t and what is 1 minus cos square t sin square t so this whole thing will get reduced into sin square t so we get 1 by 16 integral t equal to 0 to pi by 2 1 minus cos t and sin square t dt now we use distributive property so we distribute this sin square t and we get 1 by 16 integral t equal to 0 to pi by 2 so shall we distribute yeah so this will be sin square t minus cos t into sin square t dt that's it now you know what to do yeah this will be half beta 2 plus 1 3 by 2 1 by 2 minus this will be half beta 1 1 plus 1 2 2 by 2 1 2 plus 1 3 3 by 2 that's it so you simplify this and you can write in the comment box whether you got this answer or not okay that's it my friends so we learned a new technique in lesson 4 and 5 that is we learned how to manipulate the angle so that the limits become 0 to pi by 2 and hence we can apply beta gamma functions we'll be back soon with more problems in beta gamma functions because we had learned something more important and by that time i want you to be really good with the basic definition of beta and gamma functions and as always one more thing if you like this video please share and subscribe so i'll be back soon till then bye